If you're a product manager, you know how painful it is to wait on engineering for data. In the next two minutes, I'll show you how YORF helps you go from raw data to quick data-driven decisions. This is the YORF upload page where you can upload a file or connect to a data source of your choice. Once you've uploaded your file, you can go onto the transformation page. Here on the left, you can talk to the agent and on the right, you can view the files that you have uploaded or synced. The user can create a new pipeline on the top or select an existing pipeline. You can then ask the agent what data it has access to. So here it will tell you have access to X or Y datasets. Here you see the agent asks clarifying questions to the user. Questions are around what you're trying to solve, what transformation do you want, and what does your final output look like? The user can then continue and ask the analysis questions. Here the product manager asks some questions like, I'd like to see how many users signed up each month and how many users are still active. I would like to know the retention rate by subscription type. Once the agent replies, it will send you back a transformation step. It also sends back an explanation of what was returned for this example. This is how an active user is defined. I have only created a one month retention or subscription type definition. Here on the right, you land on the pipeline tab where you can see the pipelines on the left pane with different steps. Each step gives you the visibility into the transform data, the diff and the code. The user can download the transform data, edit the code and download the code as well. Here you can see that the agent has created a draft pipeline. Once the user has validated what the agent has created, they can go back and save this step to the final pipeline. The step now is a part of the saved pipeline for the user, which the user can execute on the entire data set or schedule for later. 